It's actually cool today, which is nice because it's always been hot here. Crap music. It's always been hot here in uh, California. It's just, it's awful, but it's finally cooled down. We're picking up a great game. It's about 75 degrees right now, which isn't really, you know, cool, but it's so much better than the 90 degrees that we've been dealing with for the weeks. It's, it's awful, I hate the heat. Anyway, we're picking up Beyond Two Souls, Quantic Dream's next game. They are the creators of Heavy Rain, which was one of my favorite games uh, this generation. I, I loved it. I thought it had a great story. You know, some people weren't into the whole quick time event gameplay. Me personally, when it comes to the core experience, you know, of a video game, whether it's a generic shooter or whatever, I, I weigh in the whole experience, the, the whole experience on basically whether or not I enjoyed it or not, all right? And it doesn't matter if the core gameplay is all quick time events, if it's all shooting, it doesn't matter. So for Heavy Rain, even though, you know, yes, you're pressing buttons and prompts and it's essentially a quick time event, which made it really tense was the fact that you're trying to do it in this very, very uh, sh uh, short amount of time, first of all, but there are all these cool action sequences going on and it was just a really, you know, tense game. Even with just generic quick time events or whatever, it, it really did uh, work out well for the game. And with Beyond Two Souls, basically Sony said, Here's a $30 million budget, and they had David Cage get two very, very well-known Hollywood actors, Ellen Page and Willem Dafoe, uh, to star, you know, in this this beautiful game of, of, of theirs. So it's going to be really unique to see how it pans out. A lot of mixed reviews, and I was surprised on that. There were a lot of mixed reviews, and, you know, because... You know, they get Heavy Rain had. I, I wouldn't say it was. Damn it. I wouldn't say it was as mixed. Uh, but there was just a lot of, you know, especially for Beyond it, there were some sixes, there were some sevens, and there were some eights. And, you know, that kind of caught my surprise. IGN gave it a six out of ten. Um, and Game, uh, you know, you know uh, uh, Game Over Greggy, you know, Greggy from IGN, he. Uh, he said, he made a statement saying, listen, that review does not reflect the whole company of IGN, which it kind of really does, you know, because when you think about it, if GameSpot releases a review, that one person's individual review that they decide to publish out to, to the world gets considered GameSpot's entire, the whole business's entire uh, viewpoint uh, for that game. And, you know, uh, uh, Greg, Greg, I've, what was his freaking name? Ray Gregory something, whatever. You guys know who I'm talking about. Um, he he basically said, you know, no, that's that's you shouldn't think of it in that case, and it's kind of hard to think of it, you know, differently because that's, I mean, that's how we all view. When IGN publishes a review, we say, oh, IGN gave it this, not oh, this person at IGN gave it this. We we consider the individual review. Um, that, that the person publishes that represents a whole company, the whole company's standpoint. And we can, you know, what are you gonna do about that? But uh, we had Rev3 Games, uh, I believe her name's Tara, she, she reviewed it, gave it a five out of five, fantastic. GameSpot, which is extremely critical in their games. GameSpot, you know, they gave, they gave GTA five and nine out of 10 for, for one misstep. Uh, but they gave Beyond a 9 out of 10, which is pretty nice. So, picking up the game here, it's going to be fantastic. I can't wait to, uh, to finally play it. I feel like this day's been going on forever. Like, I woke up this morning, I'm like, I wish I didn't have to go to school today. Because I just wanted to, you know, pick up the game and have fun and play it. Well, I, I'll have fun with it tonight and tomorrow and all through the rest of the week. And then this weekend, I can finally get back into Grand Theft Auto V. Uh, I've been really eager to get back into it. So it's going to be a pretty, pretty uh, busy week. And espe especially, what's really cool, this is the last unboxing that I'm doing before I'm picking up the next-gen consoles, all right? So what's, um, so as far as, you know, Bat Batman Arkham City is, is coming out in a couple weeks. Here's the deal. 
if I can make enough on YouTube alone, which is like my next paycheck, if I make a significant amount of money, which I really do think I am because uh, this is the month of July, uh, which, which is, I'm gonna get that payment on uh, around the 15th of this month. Now, the month of July was such a booming month for me. It was like, that was like one of my best months ever. I think actually my most, my most view, viewed month ever. I got thousands and thousands and thousands of views, which is pretty sweet. So, I'm gonna take this spot. All right. I'm gonna back out. Go pick up this game. We are going to play this interactive movie, this unique experience of a game. So I'll see you guys after I go pick it up. Bye. So here it is, Beyond Two Souls. This is the special edition GameStop upgraded this, um, you know, because I just pre-ordered the game. But I'll see you guys back at the house. We're, we're finally going to unbox this and play this great game. Thanks. All right. Well, welcome to October eighth. So we have Beyond Two Souls here. Apparently, he the guy said my codes were in the game. This is actually a cool case. I like this. They said it came in a steelbook case, but it actually gave you like a sleeve, which is really nice. So this is pretty nice. You're just for pre-ordering the game. On my receipts, there's nothing here except that survey for. Oh wait, no, no, there's nothing. All right, let's unbox the game so you hurry up and get into it. All right, Beyond Two Souls. There it is. My receipt get it out of the way. Um. Pretty nice case. I, I do have to admit, I like this. A steelbook case on the bottom, and then it has like a sleeve. I never really seen on anyone do that with a steelbook case before, so that's actually kind of nice. Good presentation quality. All right, so let's plastic right here. I loved Heavy Rain. I'm so pumped to finally play this. It does feature the brand new ESRB logo for games. All it really did, I guess this part used to be black and they made it white or something. It's really stupid. I don't know why they make a big deal about it, but here it is. Um, it's a sleeve. Oh, nice sleeve. All right, let's take a look at the uh, box art or the sleeve, I guess, uh, itself. All right, on the front here, we have the actress Ellen Page. Uh, it's a nice little force weird entity kind of blue thing with space going on. That's great. And then we have, uh, of course, you know, Big Beyond Two Souls title, Sony, Quantic Dream. Games are in there. I'm sure there really isn't much to go on here except Ellen Page and Will Defoe's name right there. All right. So that is the front. Let's take a look at the back. All right. So the back of the case, we have Ellen. Wait, wait. We have Willem Dafoe's face, who's, he, he kind of looks like he's confused on uh, a video game. That's, that's, um, that was his reaction, that was, that could, that could totally be a meme right there. <laughs> it's not, that was the reaction when the developers were like, yes, you put these dots on your face and we track it through the motion scan, and he was like, uh, I'll, I'll, what? I'm not doing that. <laughs> Um, then we have four screens right here showing various parts throughout the game. It says, uncover the mystery what lies beyond in a powerfully emotional journey through the remarkable life of Jody Holmes. 720p requires 2.55 gigabytes. Pretty cool. And it supports one or two players. You can play this game um, co-op if you want to. You guys, one person, actually if you have a PlayStation Vita, one person can control Jody and the other person can, can control Aiden on the PlayStation Vita. So that's actually a pretty cool way of getting, you know, another person involved. Um, so that's pretty cool. Let's take, uh, check out the inside. All right, so here's the inside. We have our game disc here with our, uh, with my code here to get special collector's edition stuff. I am keeping this. No, not doing a giveaway, but what? There's no manual. The, the, 
there's no manual at all. There's a voucher to, to get my exclusive content, but there's no manual. I, I feel like I just bought a Vita game here, and... What? <laughs> Alright, so just like a movie, there isn't really an insert, or there is an insert, but there isn't really a manual that tells you where the chapters are or anything, it's just... Alright, what, whatever, there's, there's no manual for this game, I don't know why, because Sony just... whatever, okay? This is the Beyond Two Souls unboxing. Thank you guys for watching. I will have the first impressions, the first 30 minutes up. Um, once I finally do play the first 30 minutes, I'm probably gonna edit this unboxing, get it rendered. Now I'll probably, what I'll probably do, because I really want to play it, is I'll probably edit it, save it, I'll probably record um, the the first 30 minutes, and then render both the unboxing and the first 30 minutes um, back to back, and then upload them later on tonight. All right, guys. So have a good day. I'm gonna be playing this. Um, through the course of this week, uh, I'll be back um, at the Xbox house this coming weekend where I'll play more Grand Theft Auto V. Finally, I can't wait to get back into that game. But until then, hopefully, I, I heard Beyond's like 10 hours or so. I could probably do that in a week. Um, we'll see how my schedule goes. Alright, guys. Have a great day. Talk to you later. Goodbye.